BrainBall is an amazing tool for PE with limitless possibilities. According to their maker, Palo Sports, BrainBall is an innovative and unique physical education learning system that merges physical activity and academic learning through play. Today, I'm going to show you one way to introduce BrainBall to your students, as well as a few simple games to play. Let's get started. First, I gather my students around the brain balls and ask them to make observations about what they see. After allowing for some think time, students always comment on the different colors, numbers, math symbols, and sometimes they even notice that some of them are basketballs while others are soccer balls. This is a great way for the students to get naturally acquainted with the brain balls on their own. Next, I ask the students to scatter the brain balls. They love this. Scattering the balls sets up our introduction activity, color sorting, a simple way to get to know the brain balls as well as a way to incorporate art. I ask the students to organize the brain balls by color one at a time. To up the ante, you could even make this into a class competition and time them to see which class can sort the brain balls the fastest. Once sorted, I like to ask them to make another observation. Which color do you think there is the most of? To which they respond, yellow and green. I like to point that out to them because those are the colors that have the letters and the numbers on them that we will use the most. From there, I transition to spelling tag. This is a great game to incorporate words into PE. I have half the students grab a green ball and half grab yellow. From there, I explain that if you have a green ball, you are a tagger. Green only tries to tag yellow, not other greens. Yellow balls are the reward for winning a face-off. You enter a face-off once you've been tagged. Using the other player's brain ball, come up with a word that starts with their letter. Go back and forth until one person can't come up with any more words. For example, If you win the face-off, you get the yellow ball. This could mean your opponent must give you the ball, or you might get to defend and continue to hold on to your yellow ball. This is also where taggers can be switched. If you now have a green ball, you are now a tagger. A fun twist on a classic, tic-tac-toe involves teamwork, communication, and in this version, the math knowledge to place the numbers in order. Teams take turns running to the tic-tac-toe board one at a time. At first, each member will place one brain ball on the board. The goal is to get your team's brain balls in a row. The catch is that the numbers have to be in order too. Most teams will eventually start to block the other team, and when this happens, their brain balls won't be in order. 
On your turn, you are allowed to switch one of your colored brain balls to an empty spot on the board. This continues until one team has three in a row correctly and wins. This is a great game to have students talk about strategy and teamwork. I always give them a few minutes after each round to reflect on how they did and how to improve for the next round. Triangle is a great mini game or warm up activity. This game also brings math into PE and can be modified up or down using either addition, subtraction, or multiplication. In groups of three, everyone starts with a ball. One person is chosen as the leader. Start by rolling the brain balls around in the group until the leader says stop. At this point, the other two compete to see who can add their numbers up correctly first. The winner is the new leader. After some practice, you can change the skill from rolling to tossing or bouncing, depending on the level of difficulty you want your students to have. In brain ball bowling, students are working in teams to bowl their orange ball and knock out the yellow or green balls to get the highest score. Balls are set into scoring hoops once they've been knocked outside of the square created by the cones. I use brain balls numbered 1 through 9 plus 1 red and 1 blue for my setup. The red and the blue brain balls each have unique scoring characteristics which we'll talk about in just a little bit. The red brain balls have a negative scoring effect. They make whichever hoop they're in worth zero points. Once the red ball is knocked out, it must be placed in the hoop with the most brain balls. If a team is careful and knocks out every brain ball except the red one, then they are done and do not have to continue to bowl. The blue brain ball has the opposite effect of the red ball as it doubles the points of the hoop it is in. Once knocked out, place the blue ball in the highest scoring hoop. No more balls may be placed in this hoop. Either at the end of a preset time, or once each team has no brain balls left in their square, the game ends and scoring begins. Simply add up the value of the brain balls for each hoop, remembering to double the score of the blue brain balls hoop and zeroing out the red balls hoop. This is a great opportunity for students to practice some math and also some teamwork in adding together. Thank you for watching my video on brain balls. I hope you found it helpful and can take at least one of these games back to your gym. If you are interested in using the slideshow that I used here for teaching your students these games, you can find that in the description box below.